Welcome back to the Northwest Showcase on 93.9 KPDQ. We're talking with Dr. David Day of Day Chiropractic today, and he's uh, located at 3758 Southeast 122nd Avenue, just south of Powell. Their phone number, 503-760-7572. They're running a Valentine's special right now today through the 25th. You can get a full workup done for just a $25 donation to Oakland Haven Children's Chiropractic Center. I recommend you do that as soon as you can. If you uh, if you think that you have some issues that Dr. Day could help with, 503-760-7572 is the number to call for that. And uh, once again, we are live in studio, yeah. and Dr. Day can answer your questions here right now. If you're not sure you want to just call and make an appointment, mm -hmm. uh, he, he may have some things to say that will change your mind. 503-786-9390 is the number to call to talk to us live mm -hmm. in studio right now, 503-786-9390, or toll free if you need it, 800-845-2162. All right, Dr. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the first things on this blog, one of the things I talked about is we, we think outside the default. And I think that is something, because if you think about what has happened in medicine, is they have defined um, very rigidly conditions and then expected treatment protocols, mm -hmm. right? And they call it, uh, you know whether whether you know basically standards of care and these types of things and so what what seems to be affirmed is if this is your condition then this is your treatment and anything that deviates from that you're not you're not matching your peers you're not doing really what is expected mm -hmm. the problem is patients come in and you might have more than one problem wrong with you mm -hmm. right like i mean people now are telling me when i go see my doctor they have a sign that says you can only, you have this visit, there's one condition that you can discuss this time with the doctor. I'm going, <laughs> but wait a minute, back to the whole person, right? Mm -hmm. What has happened to us? We have gotten, and so a poor patient with a chronic problem, I mean, you go, you've got fibromyalgia, what is your one thing you're going to talk about? It's, I am the one thing, doctor, you know, but that doesn't go over. You say, well, yeah. I guess my, what's been worse, my right wrist. Okay, great. What do you do with that, right? When it's, right. You know, it's the whole body needs attention. Yeah. And we've got to do things like address diet. We've got, you know, you're not, the, for the people with fibromyalgia, they're not sleeping. There's all sorts of problems. And we, we can't just do one knee-jerk thing. We have to look at it. Now, with fibromyalgia, for instance, one of the things I'm finding is almost all of them have something wrong with the curve of their neck. Most of them have sustained some sort of trauma years before. And so the doctors never tie those things together. Oh, that was 20 years ago, they'll say. And it's like wait a minute, what if 20 years ago when you got in that car wreck and your neck reversal happened and you were a lot younger then, maybe you were in your 20s and now you're 40, you're a woman and you're 43 years of age, you've got a bunch of kids now and now you're having all sorts of problems. The doctors would never tie that accident when you were in college with the fact that you've got fibromyalgia now, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And yet that's exactly what has to happen. Somebody has to finally put it all together and realize, oh, wait a minute here. The reason you developed the fibromyalgia was the consequence of those injuries that you sustained when you were younger and didn't have any pain and things then. Now you have it, and you might not actually hurt that bad in your neck, so you might not realize that it's actually coming from the neck and from the track of where the pathways of the nerves that go to the muscles and things, they get choked off. So we feel it then in the muscles when the cause is actually in the neck, even though the neck, and the neck is probably sore, because then you have a forward head posture and you've got tight muscles, you want someone to rub your muscles, and I mean, those are all there, but, but we're trying to get to the root. What's the cause of the problem? Yeah. And then how do we fix it so you don't have that anymore, right? That's, I mean, if you go to the medical doctors now, something like fibromyalgia, they form so they have you go to support groups to learn how to live with fibromyalgia. I'm going, wait a minute here. That's, you're giving up on all these patients. You don't believe that fibromyalgia can be treated. You don't think someone can get rid of it. You believe that once they have that, they're going to have it the rest of their life. And then you give them whatever medications it takes for them to survive. And it's like, how did we get to that conclusion, right? So anyhow, so that's, that's something. And then um, another problem that we run into is the feeling of rejection. By patients with chronic conditions, they, they are almost apologetic that they came in. They feel the last thing I want is somebody like them in my office. And I look and my head goes sideways and I go, excuse me, but I hear this so much that if you're sitting there at home and you're tired of going to doctors, and you don't want to impose on the doctors, you know, because this is going to take a lot of time. Please come in. Don't don't stay at home. You know, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Now, can I have my clinic full of patients like this? No, 
but I've got one case right now. She understands. She knows when I'm busiest, so she doesn't come then, <laughs> right? I won't be able to take the time that, that her case is going to require. And so she brings a book, and she'll sit there, and I can do a little bit, try some things, see how it works, and then I move on and do some patients who are coming in for wellness care. and Because it's, it's kind of like a, a dynamic um, situation, because uh, we have people who have really tough cases. We have other people who are excited about the wellness they're experiencing. They're in tip-top shape. All the, you know, they come careening in, park the car, and they come in. I can adjust them and have them out in several minutes, right? If, mm -hmm. Because it doesn't take much. It's just they want, there's a few strategic areas that I need to keep in tip-top form. They're under wellness care. Fantastic. Well, that, that is a different person than someone who's having a really tough chronic health you know, situation. So as long as you can understand that, that there's going to be a dynamic and a flow, uh, and I happen to have some laser equipment, I've got some pretty sophisticated stuff. So, because part of this dealing with chronic conditions is you got to have stuff everybody else doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Because if it's all the same, you'll get the same results. In fact, I was at a conference this weekend, and I'll tell you what, my brain was blown. Um, there is, one of the things I've been watching is whole body vibration. There are, they're, they're experimenting right now with um, having people stand on vibrational plates, you know, and, it's, and it, it shakes their whole body. Kind of like, um, have you seen those straps, those old exercise machines where they have the strap yeah. and you lean into it? Okay, yeah. so that was an exercise sort of thing. What we're doing is we're trying to think about, okay, we, we want to turn back on your brain, right? We have a lot of people falling, having hip injury, you know, the, these, these, we're having Alzheimer's, we're having, um, you know, balance issues, those sort of vertigo, those sorts of things. Well. Something that really helps to kind of turn back on the brain system um, are these things that send inputs in through kind of the back part of your spinal cord up into your brain, you know, and all sorts of all sorts of stuff. And it gets kind of complicated, but but they're experimenting with this. Well, the problem that I'm running into is some of these things really shake people pretty aggressively, and they they have like side to side, up and up, that sort of thing. Well, for the first time, there was a manufacturer from Korea who has come up with a vibrational plate that you stand on it and it's like you're standing on a subwoofer go it it makes you go up and down it's not shaking you that and I'm going well that's interesting and you know I'm a musician and yeah. uh, I think at our next uh, signal I'll, I'll play one of my uh, one of the songs but but for right now so I'm, I'm intrigued by things that are that kind of are back to a sonic root sort of thing because chiropractic was founded on the, the I have a book written in 1910 by Dr. Palmer who invented chiropractic and uh, that's the kind of the subtext of his of his of that of that book, the science, art, and philosophy of chiropractic was chiropractic founded on tone, and there's something about music and the body, and what what the chiropractor was who was demonstrating that was he's talked to the manufacturer and they say what he's doing is very different from anybody else. Um, everybody, these vibrational frequencies, we're talking fairly low hertz, you know, four, six hertz, seven hertz, you know, it's. It's a shaky vibration. Well, this machine has a capability of going from four hertz all the way up to 50 hertz. Mm -hmm. Now I play an upright bass, right? Mm -hmm. So some of those notes are in that sound frequency. Now this isn't to make sound, but this is for you to stand and have this, your body go up and down, up and down, and, and, and we can vary. He says, I can dynamically change the vibrational frequency and some people find, oh, right there. That's the right frequency for me. Mm -hmm. They then stand and start breathing, and it, it's like it, it, their body kind of resonates at it. You know, so you have to find the right one. Like I was standing, at 38 hertz is the right one for me, right? He prefers 34 hertz. I don't care. It doesn't matter, right? <laughs> but what he's finding is people are sleeping. So I'm looking at that. I'm going, I'll bet you one of those things is going to end up in my office, because not only do you do that, then he has people listen to different frequencies on headphones. And you realize, wait a minute, you know what, our body, one of the big inputs that our brain has to process is sounds with the direction where they're coming from. We have reflexes where we, if we hear a sound that we think is going to hit us, we'll turn away. You know, there's all these, blink our eyes, all these, all these reflexes are hard, hardwired into our brain. Yeah. When our brain starts to fail, we start getting twitches, we get weird stuff happening that we have no conscious control over. And traditional medicine can't explain it. But when we start thinking from functional neurology, you go, hey, wait a minute. There are some really interesting ways that we can interact with the nerve system. If we send these things up through those posterior columns up into the brain, the brain stem, cerebellum, and you go, well, wait a minute here. 
we can actually turn the brain back on and get it functioning better. You go, of course people would sleep better. Of course you could, you could Im influence people's health by restoring the function of this nerve system. Because that's really what it's about. How do we yeah. then, how do we help people who, everything that's been tried, quote unquote, well, not really that much has been tried. They've had a lot of different medications that they've been given and it hasn't worked, right? That's really what, what, the, what it is. Or they might have gotten to a physical therapist who stretched some muscles, but that assumes the problem with the muscles being tight is that they need to be stretched. That's, that's often not the cause. That might just be a manifestation. So we have to say the brain, like so many things, like our suboccipital muscles, if you've got headaches, you have no conscious, zero conscious control over your right rectus capitalis posterior minor. You, you, it, it doesn't exist. Your brain regulates that and it's part of your, this, your vision mechanism because your brain wants to balance your eyes so you don't see double, mm -hmm. right? So that is, that reflex, if that's getting screwed up and those muscles are too tight because the brain is telling it because it thinks you're twisted and when you really aren't, there's a mismatch. There's all sorts of crazy things that can go wrong. And so this is why we've got to try to delve into these cases and look and see, oh, maybe, or try different colors. What if you hold a red in front of you or a blue? Does that help your gait improve? Because it quiets them as a cephalon, which is processing all this visual data and trying to make sense of it. You go, huh, because I had a case yesterday. I had her walk with the blue and I had her walk with the red. Hey, when she did the red in front of her eyes, she walked smoothly. The blue, she lurched like a, yeah, you know. Wow, just putting a piece of a red thing in front of your eyes can make you walk smoother. How in the world does that happen? Yeah. And you realize the complexity of the nerve system processing and you go, oh, it's back to the brain. That's a mesencephalon. It's like, oh, that's where a lot of this other stuff is integrated and passed up. You go, oh, so if there's a wreck in the freeway of your mesencephalon. <laughs> you go, oh, wow. So then maybe I need to do something to stimulate hearing on one side or frequency on one side versus the other. And, all sorts of crazy stuff can happen. So, all right. Well, thank you. <laughs> you need a crazy chiropractor like me to, to jump into some of that sort of stuff, though. <laughs> yeah, well, if you would like to make an appointment with Dr. Day, you can give him a call, 503 760 7572. And the great thing he has going on right now is a Valentine's special for new patients. If you or someone you love uh, could use some chiropractic care, you can get a, a, a full health analysis, mm -hmm. including a postural and bilateral weight exam. Uh, thermal imaging and surface EMG scans, necessary x-rays, heart rate variability test, all of that over $250 value for a $25 donation to Oakland Haven Children's Chiropractic Center. You get to get healthier and help uh, kids who need to get healthier yeah. too at the same yeah. time. 503-760-7572 is the number for day chiropractic and you can uh, order that and make that appointment right now. And uh, if you have a question, we have just uh, about 10 minutes left when we get back, 503-786-9390. You can ask Dr. Day a question, 503-786-9390.